OK, so this is the 3D decoration or it can also be a bauble and it's a cutting file that's available in my cutting file shop at applelover53.co.uk. Now, I first made these back in 2014 and I did do a blog post on it at the time, but I never did a video. So you need 12 of these shapes. There are 12 on the cutting mat and these are one and three quarters by just over one and three quarters and then you'll see that this is the finished size but in the past I've made them at three inches and then you end up with a bigger decoration and they're great to be able to make in different sizes and just you know position together or what you can do you can um you know put some thread or some ribbon or something in before you attach your last one and then they become a hanging decoration. But for this one, I'm just going to leave it as a little ornament on my desk. So I've put them all together and I've got to the last one and they're all the same. So basically you've got a little split. So what I do, I just put my thumb where that split is and I just bend that little petal, if you like, up. And they all just interlock into each other and if you just keep locking them all together you'll see it all comes like this now what i've done with this one this is sweetest christmas designer series paper by stamping up in the past i've made them in card and when i'd got so many together just to keep it more stable i've just put a dab of glue on one side of this like half petal and glued it together just to hold it into place but you can see on these where I haven't you can leave it like that or you can glue it together so this is the last one and this is probably the one that's the most tricky but you it, it will work as I say I have cut these in cardstock in the past now you don't have to use the slot and slot them together you could literally just put them together like that and put a dab of glue and glue them it's entirely up to you you know if you're using cardstock and it's really really heavy weight cardstock then you might find it difficult to manipulate these into place in which case just put them together and glue them on you know, one side, you only need a dab of glue on one side of the petal and it'll glue, but I'm just going to pop mine in. So literally they slide in, they've got a slot obviously in either side and they slide in and then trying to keep this in shot. This is where doing it in paper does make it a little bit easier because it's a bit easier to manoeuvre, but you know, you can do it. It's, as I say, in the past, I've made them in card in the product listing on my website you'll see them in card i did a set of three well hannah did them actually i cut the cutting file and then i showed her how to put them together and we cut 12 of three different sizes in shades of pink and then she used to just have them on a unit in a bedroom just as decoration like i say as i say you can see like they're trying to go together here if you don't want to slot them just put a dab of glue but they will slot, you know, just kind of lift them over and the slots are there to help them stay in place. And then again, as I say, just lock that into place and you can see and I say you can leave them like that or you can glue these together. So the way I've done mine has literally just got a little dab of wet glue and then just squeeze them together. And this is double sided paper. So obviously you're going to see both bits of the design. They're so easy to do and they do look great cut in bigger sizes and laid up, you know, as decoration. But you don't have to glue them. You can leave them so these little petals are open. It's entirely up to you. But if you if, if you um, decide to stick the petals together, I would do it on them all so it looks consistent. Or at least do them on the bottom ones where you know if you're going to use it as a decoration it's sat but you know just it's so easy it's only paper at the end of the day and we all have loads of papers and cardstock don't we as crafters so you know it's not even a full sheet let me just show you this was a scrap of 12 by 12 designer series paper you can see i've already cut some squares out and they were for another decoration i did which i'll just show you they were for this one they were all the squares that i cut out for this one this is another 3d decoration that's available in my scan and cut shop so that's it so i hope you found that helpful and um you know if you make some and you post them on social media tag me at apple lover 53 okay thanks a lot